Hello everybody, it's your girl Connie Kenneth and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe because all of you are watching my videos but you're not subscribed. So help me if you support me by just hitting the subscribe button and you know what, this is the best reaction channel ever. So today I'm back again with, um, and so excuse my voice, I'm still, you know, just trying to get it back but yeah, I'm much better now. Uh, so today's reaction video is going to be about Miss Trudy. So a week in my life vlog. So we are on the newspaper featuring Stella Chanelli and Rachel Otieno. So Stella Chanelli is a Ghanaian. Rachel Otieno must be Kenyan. And so let's see what this one has to do. So I really think it's, it's a great idea to do a week in my life. It's a very unique, unique uh, vlog. And I'm here for it. So let's see what this is all about. Oh, oh, you're looking so cool. Oh, no, you're so cool. Stella is in Kenya. Came to meet up with her. Hi. <laughs> is it that she doesn't... Uh, so, this is Stella Chanelli. Is it like she doesn't recognize um, Miss Trudy? Or... Oh, don't you look excited? Ah, Miss Trudy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, she doesn't. Wow, that's... Uh, Okay, she must look very different. Yeah? Hey. Uh, <laughs> hey guys, so um, Stella Chanel is in Kenya. I came to meet up with her. Um, I was supposed to meet up with her, but because of that supplies, it delayed everything. So we're mm -hmm. here now. She's texting. I think she's concerned because I'm getting late. Anyway, I know her house. Yeah, those boots, I think they come in handy, especially with the Nairobi weather right now. Apparently, you guys are freezing in Nairobi, so I think they come handy. Why does she look so scared? Why does she look so like, you know, who are you? That's crazy. Why don't you look excited? Ah, it's Trudy. <laughs> ah, I'm Tish. How have I changed? Trudy, I was so worried. Oh, good to see right? you. <laughs> <laughs> look at how she just carried her like a child. Oh, that's so cute. Yeah, yeah, she, I like the dress, it looks so nice. Yeah, it surprised me. It looks so good, I really like this. And your hair also. <laughs> <laughs> Let me say, the last time I saw Miss Trudy was uh, in Ghana <laughs> when we went to the Bujo Beach. Yeah, <laughs> when we went to the beach, that was actually the last time. Yeah. <laughs> 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 travel to Nairobi or to Africa or to Kenya make sure you carry your bag on the front so that is rule number one or if you have like like a hanging bag that you put around your you know around your neck I don't know how around your neck you know the long ones but then you you keep the bag in the front as well so never 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 carry your backpack as a backpack because you will lose everything in there because it's very easy 
for the pickpocketers, for the thieves on the streets uh, to catch your bag or they have a way of unzipping your bag and you never, and especially when you're on a busy street, it's really easy for them to, to steal from you. So just be very careful. Always make sure you have your backpack towards the front or your bag as well, your handbag towards the front. Hey, you put which I'm used to edit, and final cut. Oh, wow. Many hours later. <laughs> guys, so, um, um, oh man, I should have shown you guys African Traveler. Mm. Mm. So I dropped off Stella Shanelli. She's with African Traveler right now. She's uh, We had an, an issue, so she's got to get the COVID test in Nairobi West Hospital instead of instead of Coptic. Because mm -hmm. apparently in Nairobi West, you can get your results within six hours. You know, in Coptic, mm. it's like 24 hours. Anyway. It's my cousin's birthday. It's Ooh. Becky's birthday. Becky's my favorite cousin. I love her so much. I don't have a sister, but to me. Yeah, do you have a uh, favorite cousins as well? Let me know in the comment section below if you do have like your favorite cousin with whom you have fond memories, you've created memories, or you are creating memories right now. Personally, uh, yes, I do. Um, I have actually two in particular. So one uh, died uh, a year back. So that was very sad. And I have another one uh, with whom, you know, we still communicate and we're very, we have very fond memories. Like every time, each time we talk, oh my goodness, it's always like laughter because we remember our childhood. Me, she's like a sister, you know. Mm -hmm. So, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm going to pick up a cake here at Junction Mall. Go and surprise her, and they have something else planned for her in store. Okay. So I want to surprise her with a flight to ticket to wherever mm. she wants to go. This time I don't want to decide mm. for her. So wherever she wants to go, I'm gonna pay for her flight ticket. I hope she gets excited. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, Miss Trudy is very generous. I feel like her mother's um, death changed her completely. And when I say that, is she wants to show people that she loves and people that she appreciates. She wants to show them that she loves them while they're still alive. And I think that's an attitude we should all have because we take people for granted until something happens and then we just wake up. And, you know, you never know about tomorrow. We, we are not, uh, tomorrow is not guaranteed. So I feel that's the right attitude. Like people in your life that you love, make sure you call them, make sure you look after your parents. Don't wait for, for months before you you call them make sure you call them at least once so we just check them out go meet them take them out for lunch if it's your best cousin if it's your brother i know miss trudy offered the car to her to her brother and honestly guys it's the right attitude because when if tomorrow does not come make sure though the people you love know that you love them or if they're the one who is supposed to leave you then you will you know you will um you will you will be sad but You'll be like, I, I showed them that I love them and I did everything possible to show them that I love them. So I feel Miss Trudy is on that journey and she's so right, taking care of her father, of her siblings, of her best friend Malika, of her cousin. It's it's just a way of giving. And let me tell you, when you give, mm, it's a beautiful gift and you feel, your heart just feels so nice, you know? So let me know in the comment section below if you do so. Um, we're here at Junction Mall. Mm -hmm. the cake. So this cake was gotten to me by Maya during my birthday. It is so good. Oh, same cake I bought my dad. Same cake I'm buying my, my cousin. It's so good, you guys. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. They haven't paid me when it's at Cafe Cake, but if you've tried it, let me know. The next day. Guys, good morning. Hi. Welcome back to my channel. Yeah, Stella has such a beautiful smile. So it's day two, and I'm with Stella Chanel. My baby! She's my boo. -boo. Guys, if you love her so much, just know that your love is not enough. My love is plenty. So, so sadly, today she's going back to Ghana. Uh. Yeah. Yeah, I feel so bad. Why do you feel so bad? Because you're going. Ah. You're happy you're going. <laughs> no, but you should be happy. I've had fun here and I'm going. It's time it's to go. So short. We're so short. <laughs> yeah. Oh, guys, I want to take her to Masai Market. You cannot come to Kenya and not go to Masai Market. Right. This is this is where they sell tradition. And let me know where Maasai Market is uh, situated today in Nairobi. It's been a while, you know. Um, let me know 
which part of Nairobi is situated now? Because I remember it used to like move around. So do they have like one specific place now in Nairobi for the Maasai market? Let me know in the comment section. Oh, Kenyan things, beautiful stuff mm -hmm. that just represent Kenya and the Kenyan culture, you know? I can't wait because everybody's like, what are you buying for me when I'm coming? And so I feel mm -hmm. like that's the perfect, I mean, that's the perfect gift you are giving right. to me. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And then <laughs> after that, I want to take her out for lunch. Oh, yeah. God. thank God I didn't eat this morning. Ah, I, I, my stomach is empty. Yeah. So now I have two options for you. Okay. You've heard of Nyamachoma? Yeah? Yes. Nyama it's Choma. basically roasted meat in Kenya. Yeah, it's I've had so it. so good. You take it to Lugali or rice, but mostly in Lugali, yeah? Okay. And also you can take it with something called Mokimo. That's basically potatoes, mashed right. potatoes and some things. Mm -hmm. Some food you don't even know. Is it green? Yeah. It has some green in it. Green, so yes. it's white. It. Oh, okay. Yeah, oh, wow. You see? So, I want to take you to either have Nyamachoma or there's this restaurant. It's my favorite restaurant in the whole of Kenya. Oh. Yeah. Okay, let's go to your favorite. Nairobi. <laughs> but there, I don't think you'll get Nyamachoma, but you'll get really nice food. Mm. They have very really nice options. And when my friends come from abroad, that's why I take them. And my, my friend, I have a friend from the U.S. who's telling me, oh, she's coming back to Kenya. And she's like, please, can you take me back, back there? Back to Can we go back? <laughs> she might have enjoyed them yeah, so much. Okay. It's so good. Okay, so let the subscribers you. decide. Guys, where do you think we should go? <laughs> I think you should go to Trudy's uh, favorite restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> a few moments later. <laughs> Oh my goodness, look at that chicken. Looks like barbecue chicken, barbecue sauce chicken with some french fries. Mm. And what that looks like, what? I think you have some, is it potatoes or chicken on the side? Looks like potatoes. Looks like pasta. Looks like shrimps. I don't know. Let me know. Kenya mm. tea is the Yes. Yes. Period. Tell them, she's tell us. Tell them. The black tea especially is the best. I think it's it has a very unique taste <clears throat> to it, the black tea. So like I'm, I'm, like, I'm a tea person. Yeah. yeah. So I, I give this to Kenya. Oh wow. The best. Thank you. Look at this tea, the black tea. Ah, you see? Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, the black tea is very nice. So when you prepare it, make sure you don't put too much tea because otherwise it's very strong. And that's why we add milk to it. Uh, but if you want to take it like just uh, sturungi, like we say, uh, then not too much black tea, but it is so good in a very unique taste. So you should try it. It tastes so unique. Right. And I'm like, oh, oh yeah. thank you. Thank you, Michelle. You guys, I need to say a big thank you to Michelle. She's making me feel so much at home. This can't wait to take it. Mm. Okay, so I brought the Lashanelli at my favorite restaurant in Nairobi. You guys already know it's CJ's. And we're having lunch. The food okay. is so good. This is the best place to come. And these guys haven't even paid me. Their food is so good, you guys. Mm. What did you choose? What's that? Shrimp. Shrimp pasta. Mm. Okay. You like this one? So let me try the bread. Yeah. Okay. I know the bread is usually so nice. Oh, that's bread. Okay. It's bread, it looks like potatoes, like the roasted potatoes. Okay, hmm. <laughs> I think it's like a salad, salad bread. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ghana. <laughs> She's going back to Ghana today. I'm here alone. <laughs> Should I go, guys? Should she take me to Ghana? Yeah, come on, let's go. Yeah, Just... go and see Bay. Go and see Bay. Yeah, you should. Go with her. Just go and say hi to my bae in Ghana. Right. I love how Ghanaians call me our wife. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> <That's> so <laughs> <clears throat> Guys, so we are walking in the streets of Nairobi. Nairobi! <laughs> and I'm Estella Chanelli. You have to come out of the car. Oh, yeah. Go there and get checked. Yes, rule number one when you're traveling to the airport, make sure um, you don't come as a community. Uh, like we used to do it before. I remember when my aunt from Sweden used to travel back, we would like go in buses to take her back to, you know, to take her to the airport to see her off. And back in the days, there was no, that was, um, that was before the, this whole terrorist stuff. And back in the days, everyone would just go in all the way to the airport. But today it's different. You have, there's, there's this checkpoint. So you have to get out. Every passenger has to come out of the vehicle, be searched, 
they have to search the car, the driver. And so the, the terrorism uh, a lot is every day, 24 seven. I think Kenyans are not joking with that anymore because it has really damaged the Kenyan uh, image and also the tourist in the tourism industry. So I guess it's a very nice idea, but I guess the best way, the best time to travel is early morning or late in the evening because you have less people. So, uh, but otherwise, wow, it's uh, the, too many people. <clears throat> so all of them will come out. Yeah, right. Don't check me. Guys, so Stella Chanel is finally leaving Kenya, you guys. I'm leaving. I don't want to go. <laughs> we miss you so much. I miss you too. Yeah. I mean, the, I mean, Miss Trudy is so generous. She's always like taking people to the airport, surprising people. And I think her father's surprise was like the. I, I, she said in her video that nobody has ever uh, surprised her. Well, except for what am I? But wow, so she's very generous and it's nice. Oh, they just came to drop her off <clears throat> at the airport. What's happening in the camera? Yeah, I hope you really enjoyed it. I'm really. I was telling her. I hope. Despite her phone being stolen, that she still loves Kenya, you know. Mm. There are just some bad people in Kenya. That doesn't right. make Kenya bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had to make it work. I mean, mm. despite the. Please go over to her channel and subscribe. <laughs> come join the family! Yes, yes, come join the family as well. Please subscribe, subscribe. <laughs> we are, we are back, back again, Charlie. Charlie. <laughs> <laughs> What does chale mean? Can somebody tell me in the second in the comment section below what does it mean chale? Let me know. Thank you for visiting Kenya. Thank you for having I'm happy I spent time with you all and so much. Thank you for dinner to lunch. Lunch. She's too far for a kiss. She's too far. Her kisses. Oh, your camera keeps going now. So sorry. Love Ghana safely, get my greetings to Ghanaians, my second home. Oh, Ghana, Ellery, let me see there. When are you coming? Me, when are we coming? Yeah. Oh, then, this one. Oh, wow. That's it, yeah, that's it. That's it, Maya doesn't live in country. I'm going to go there. My second home. Oh, right. I love Ghana so much. Okay. You don't want to. Please go. Go back to the country. Guys, it's okay. Bye. And you know what, back in the days, um, you could go inside and nowadays, if you're not traveling, you can't go inside the airport. So things have really changed and I think it's, it's okay for security reasons. It's okay. <clears throat> hey guys, yo, I'm seeing guys literally sla um, slaughtering a goat in front of me. <laughs> Let me show you. Oh, yeah, poor goat. Uh... Is that a goat or a cow? Yo. <laughs> yeah, Miss Trudy always feels sorry for the, you know, for the, um, what do you call them, for the goats, the chicken, and stuff like that. But she enjoys it on the plate. By the end of the day, it's meat. I mean, we enjoy the meat. I just came over to get my drink over there. Oh. Guys, I always come here. I think I'm an addict of this juice, okay? This is sugar cane, ginger, mm. and um, lemon. Mm. I'm an addict guys yo, yo like i'm really an addict every day in, when i'm in upper hill i have to pass by there just to get myself this fresh drink i think it's very healthy because it's it's got ginger yeah? and sugar cane which right. is natural sugar right. and lemon i think mm -hmm. this combination is healthy yeah i have to google and see what exactly it does to the body but it helps cut fat yes guys i just remembered it does help cut fat anything that is healthy I don't yeah know. probably because of the lemon i don't know if ginger i know ginger is very nice for your health but for cutting fat i would say the lemon. like you know okay at least has to taste good a little guys you know how sometimes life sucks for oh. me life has just been sucking <laughs> you know oh. does it happen it happens to everyone right mm. most days are good but some days it's like i feel like one of the worst things ever happened to me yesterday i feel like i shouldn't talk about it on camera oh. i don't know if i should talk about it oh my goodness i'm so sorry miss trudy but you know life is full of those up and downs 
and you know like we say you know we were talking about lemons but you know it's easier said than done but I think it's a very nice image you know when life throws lemons at you you should make lemonade out of it you know it's good to embrace the pain to embrace whatever that we're going through and then um, and then move forward because by the end of the day life goes on and all all that matters is you know just take care of yourself as well because when you're all over the place and and uh, looking care I mean taking care of everybody who is taking care of you and I feel uh, it's important for you to find that balance as well so yes it happens to each and every one of us to go through those you know those tough moments in life and those low moments where we feel alone where we feel nobody cares where you know some we get disappointed by some people where some of them betray us so it's um yeah the life is full of up and downs but just like my grandmother used to tell me let me tell you you know when you look someone on a life-saving machine when it's going up and down like that it means they're, they're living so that is life life is full of those ups and downs because if it was flat then that means you're dead so um, yeah, so these are unfortunately things that we go through in life, but it's okay and tomorrow is a, is a better day. So I hope you're feeling better today. It guys, but I just feel bad. And oh. when it happened, I was just walking in town and uh, my face was down and I could feel, I just felt, dis I've never been that disappointed, you know, like I couldn't oh. even believe what had happened, you know. I was expecting something and then it went the opposite oh. and um, I won't even lie to you guys, I cried. <laughs> Oh, okay, we can still see that you're emotional about it. Oh, sorry. It, you know, because it's like, how could this happen to me, you know? And since mm. then, I've just been in a bad mood. I wasn't even in a mood of uploading a video yesterday, but then I was like, you know what? Let me just upload, oh. okay? Let me not let my emotions control me. So, yeah, mm -hmm. I uploaded. Yeah, that's another thing. It's important to know how to control your emotions because by the end of the day, um you should have power over your emotions but it's easier said than done it's okay to feel those emotions and especially to learn from the situation and get the best out of it and you know not um so that it doesn't happen again so i hope whatever it is miss trudy i hope you're much better video but um i think i think it's part of life you can't always have good days or good times sometimes mm -hmm. it's good sometimes it's bad and it's part of right. life and we have to keep going yeah right. so many things have been happening it's not only one thing so i just want to tell you if you feel like you're you're not things are not going right you're not the only one mm -hmm. um, yeah and everything is gonna be okay things are not okay as i'm speaking but i'm just i'm just keeping a positive attitude you right know? yeah because i can either choose to be positive or to be negative you mm -hmm. know and i don't have yeah. time for negativity right now so i'll skip it apart <laughs> from that guys something amazing has happened i hope you picked your paper today because guess what guess what yeah. i am on today's newspaper right. okay i'm super thrilled super excited congratulations mystery to the world congratulations you have no idea let's go i have I have such a busy day, I have so many meetings. We'll see as it goes. And of course, you're going to try and stop over somewhere for the newspaper. I can't wait to show you, you guys, me on the newspaper. At least this is something that is putting a smile on my face right. because I haven't been happy, you know. Oh. Well, I was told by someone on your university, you should always put your window down. So I'm in Upper Hill because I just dropped my dad in hospital and then now I'm going to... Oh, I'm meeting this YouTuber, you guys. I'm meeting, I'm meeting, I'm meeting Rachel Ateno. Rachel Ateno. So I'm super, super excited. I love her so much. So we're meeting up today, do something small, small, nini, nini. And then call it a day, okay? You see, that's something else that is putting a smile on my face because that's I'm genuinely nice. excited. Yeah. It's just getting the positive out of the, everything bad that is happening because... But I think it's human. You know, we, when everything is going like... When we have like one bad thing and five good things happening, our minds just tend to concentrate on what's going wrong. And, you know, I think it's it's a way, it's a mindset. And I feel it's, we can always concentrate on what's going well as well to to just reverse the whole process, you know, and just make it, um, you know, and just make it easier for us to digest what's going wrong. So, yeah, so I think it's, it's human. It's human too. <laughs> To concentrate on the bad but it's also our decision not to and concentrate on what's going right but some things can be so painful so i hope whatever it is you're much better today I am. 
Guys, it's lunch time. I've come to my favorite um fish finger spot. Yo, look at that. Looks so good. Some lot I love the fact that they serve lots of fish fingers and fries and this thingy is truly so sweet. And I'm with my cousin. A few moments later. Guys, so this is me. I'm going to meet Rachel. Hall. But I am stuck in crazy traffic. Mm. So from town to Mombasa Road should be like five minutes, yeah? And my Google Maps has been telling me 15 minutes for the last five minutes, okay? <laughs> and um, yeah, I understand it's because there's a lot of construction going on right now. Right. So yeah, the construction is playing a big role. And I'm grateful for the construction because clearly our government is doing an amazing job. Right. However, I don't know. Like... Hey, yes, Kenya has really changed. I think that when I come home, I will not recognize so many places. It's crazy. I keep pressure waiting so long, you know. Mm. Yo, guys, have I told you how cold it is in Nairobi? Hey, sh hey. <laughs> when is the last time it was this cold? I don't know. Right. Guys, it's, it's cold. I don't even know how to explain it, but it is so, 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 so... Is it the same for you? Drop a comment. I don't think it's ever been colder than this. Who so how much? Oh, oh look at the kitties. Oh, oh my goodness. 18K. Oh, you know, you will never see anything like this in France. Where I am right now, you will never see someone selling... Uh, pets on the streets it's forbidden it's against the law you have to go to a uh, to a specific um what do you call it? dog farming place and then you have to book one then you have to pay it's registered it's just like a kid the way you just have to to register your kid when they're born so you will never 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 see anything like this um in kenya so i know in kenya you have the dogs the cats the rabbits this and that but you can find someone selling on the street and it's what? Okay, one, 160. Oh, okay. Oh, guys, this is me admiring dogs as I'm still stuck in freaking traffic. <laughs> hi, there she is. Hi. Hi, how are you? It's so nice to see you. Nice to see you too. Okay, I took a photo of this now. I'm under pressure to pay for it. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah, that buy two food. Buy and food and, and I don't have coins. <laughs> I just have a set for me. I'm not sure. Oh no, it's just a picture. Come on. Oh, Yo, yeah, you're looking so cool. Oh, yeah, no. it's Rachel. Nice to meet you. You're so beautiful. Wow. Oh, oh you're so beautiful. I can't believe I met you. I also have a subscriber. I think, I don't know if you know her. She's called Doreen. Mm -hmm. Doreen Ocanti. Mm -hmm. She loves you so much. Really? Yeah. So many of my, of my subscribers love you truly. Like, they are constantly like, oh, you have to collaborate. Like, go check my comment section. Everyone is asking for you. I was like, if I don't yeah. collaborate with you, truly. Mm -hmm. This will come for me. <laughs> I'm not with the hair. Oh, yeah, but she looks so good. I love your hair. Oh, wow. Yeah, she's so good. Oh. She makes me, let me know if I'm wrong, she makes me think of Susan Ovio. She looks so much like Susan uh, from this angle. Let me know in the comment section below if you know the Kenyan singer, beautiful Susan Ovio. They look so alike. Oh, yeah, but she looks so good. I love your hair. Oh, wow. It's terrible, so yeah, I'm happy it's not. Yeah, yeah. Guys, so we had to come out because inside the music was so so loud. Uh, in case you don't know her, tell them who you are. Oh, I'm Rachel Oteno, and I'm a travel blogger. She's crazy, she looks so much like Susan Oweo. It's crazy. Oh, wow, you're so pretty. Uh, I, I'm from Kenya, but then I live in Sweden. Uh, how long have you been in Sweden? Six years. Six years. Oh, yeah, yeah. What took you there? I went to Sweden as an au pair. I mm. stayed to study. Love kept me. Mm -hmm. and yeah, and you know, uh, I don't know if you know what is an au pair. An au pair is when you go to a 
to a foreign country, then you look after the kids, but at the same time you're learning the language and you're also teaching them. So I imagine Rachel was probably teaching the kids English and she was learning uh, Swedish, so she was hosted by the family. So it's a very nice exchange um, program um, that anybody can take. Uh, so you just have to look it up in the different embassies. So if you're interested to become an au pair in France, in Germany, in Sweden, whatever you, you know, wherever you're from and yeah, you want to go and it's really, um, it's nice. So, and I know Sweden, I have so, my cousins, I have so many cousins in Sweden. Now, work and life and love. Right. And yeah, I love the country. Yeah, so you saw you dating a white guy. How is it? Oh, it's different. Yeah. How different is it from dating a Kenyan? It's very, oh my god, it's very different, it's insane. So, like, for instance, in, in Sweden, there's there's no, like, gender roles and stuff. Mm -hmm. In Sweden, women have more power to call the shots. Oh, so, really? you don't, yes, you don't oh. have to wait for the guy to, like, yeah, yeah, um, that's the thing with uh, with the white uh, with the white men. Yeah, they they don't think like you as a woman. You have to be in the kitchen. I mean, they you share the roles. You know, um, you help each other. He can cook. You can um, you can clean, and he can clean. You can cook. I mean, there is no like you're the woman. You have to do all those things. Even though there's still some uh, who have still have that um, mentality, I would say, but very few. And you know that. Um, most of them will not cheat on you as a woman. They would leave you first before they cheat on you. So I understand where you're coming from. Do, do they, like you, you are more free to do it. Mm -hmm. So women are more equal, like more open. For instance, hooking up is both ways. Like a woman can easily hook up with a man, mm -hmm. but in mm -hmm. Kenya, it's always like the men trying to do that. Mm -hmm. And then guys in Sweden, they tend to like they are okay. Even the women, they're okay with like splitting bills with guys and with women and stuff, mm -hmm. but what do you think about splitting? I think that's also changing in uh, in most, uh, in the African setup, it's also changing where I know back in the days men, a man would feel like a man when he's paying and looking after his woman, and you know, when you go to the restaurant, he doesn't want to split the bills and stuff like that, but I feel now it has really changed, it's a little bit different compared to the past um, personally, I prefer splitting bills because I would rather um, also chip in and you know and pay for my mom's dinner or stuff like that. So I think it has really changed, and most women now are coming to terms with it. Yeah, I'm okay with that. I think mm -hmm. it's fair, you know. Okay, right. it's fair. Mm -hmm. what, what do you think? I think it depends with the age gap. If I'm dating someone who is the age of my grandfather, that <laughs> well, I'm not doing that. Okay, <laughs> I don't mean like that, but. You understand, right? If it's the age of your grandfather, they should definitely pay. That's what you say. Okay, that sounds so transactional, but I don't mean it like that. It's just like there should be a balance. So here's the case. If you just move to a new country, you're still trying to stabilize yourself. Uh, it's a long process. And it is a long process. Mm -hmm. And if you just meet someone and they expect you to come halfway, then there's no equity there. It's not about equality. It's about equity. Like, it should make sense. Yeah. But maybe in Kenya, oh, oh yes. they have dimples, they just not they're so cute. Oh, come on. I'll put, I'll put. Yeah, in Kenya, most likely, if I'm dating someone, we're probably the same age, mm -hmm. and most likely we went to the same school, or we are more or less the same place in life. Mm -hmm. Then it's not a problem, we've had similar opportunities to do things. Mm -hmm. But if you just move to Europe, and life in Europe is tricky. Mm -hmm. So if you get a, a, an oppressive person who's making you pay bills half with a mm -hmm. So let me ask you a question. They say that east or west home is best. Do yeah. you agree with that statement? Right. Now that you've been abroad for a while. 100%. Yeah, 100%. Me too. I think we're always attracted to where we come from, one way or another. And when you look at people who are like the African-Americans, you have more and more African-Americans traveling back to Africa because they're looking for their roots, you know. And home is where your heart is. Like if you were born, and even when you're from a region, like I see some people who are, born in Nairobi, they can move to Kericho, to Mombasa, but home is Nairobi, so they always come back to Nairobi. So yeah, I feel like east or west, home is always the best, be it country, region, uh, town, you always, always go back home. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh. People say I'm much happier at home, but yeah. just because, first of all, I don't have responsibilities, and secondly, <laughs> it's just the vibe, like, the, yeah. the 
they get you, they get your jobs, you get their right. jobs, and life is just so... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Things just flow, you know? Life is much easier, and yeah, you, there is no misunderstanding. I, I agree with you, Rachel, 100%. They get your jokes, you get the jokes. Uh, you know when someone is genuine, but 100% genuine, you know... All these things just flow, you know, everything just flows. And you, when you look at the, the, the Kenyan spirit of how people are so friendly, so nice, then, oh my goodness, yeah, home is best. It's more comfortable, I would say. Right. Okay, something different about dating in, in Europe or dating in France in general is I think that men are more helpful in the kitchen. And I appreciate that. I love men who can cook. Yeah, I appreciate that. Oh my that. god, I really. love men who can cook. Yeah, because sometimes you run out of ideas, you know? You run out of ideas, and I feel that it's nice when you can share ideas and somebody else has their own uh, recipe ideas. So it's nice to have that, you know, um, to share that, you know? Like, it's not the 16th century where a man sits and expects the woman to always be cooking. Yo, no, imagine, cook for your girls, cook for your women. So, you guys, um, it's the next day, yeah, because yesterday, imagine, I was extremely busy. I didn't get time to go through mm -hmm. the newspaper that I am on. So, we can go through it right now, yeah? Mm -hmm. So, this is it. This is actually the standard, and it is actually one of the biggest news. Oh, it is the wow. biggest newspaper in mm -hmm. Yeah, not one of the biggest. It is the biggest. So, I'm so humbled to be on the yeah. standard. Standard is a big newspaper in Kenya. So, you have Nation, The Nation, and Standard. So, it's a big, big deal to be on The Nation or the standard. So let me just open my section. Ah, there it is, you guys. Ooh, and you have a double page. Fantastic. The pictures are beautiful. Wow. Congratulations, Miss Trudy. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so um how I got on the newspaper is me, I'm just living my life, okay? Mm -hmm. Then I get a call from this lady. She says she's from the Standard newspaper and they'd like to feature me. And of course, I say, yes, you can't turn down the Standard. It's right. a big deal, you know? So, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, they asked me a couple of questions because I was I was quite busy. I couldn't meet them in person. So they sent questions that I answered. And then they asked for my images mm -hmm. that I sent them. And then um, she wasn't, she didn't tell me specifically when I'd be on the newspaper. So okay. on that day, I knew I was on a newspaper when people tagged me on Instagram. I was like, oh, it was today because I really, I didn't know. By the way, guys, my name came off. Like, it broke uh, Yo, But I'm yeah. only human. I'm going to fix it tomorrow. So, yeah. <laughs> that is just a by the way. So, yeah, I knew I was um, on the newspaper that day when I got people tagging me on Instagram. Which reminds me, if you're not following me on Instagram, what are you waiting for? Right, me too. Make sure you go subscribe to my Instagram and it's in the description box below. And subscribe. Instagram handle, so <laughs> make sure you follow me, okay? Right. So, I'm just so happy to be on the newspaper, you guys. Oh my gosh. This is it. This is it. I look so hot on the newspaper. What? And I love how it's written Miss Trudy to the world. Right. It makes me feel like I can actually conquer the world. You know, mm -hmm. feel that. Miss Trudy to the world. Uh, okay, so um, they're saying, Gertrude, are we Oh, not? you removed your braids. Uh, okay. <laughs> I didn't notice. Okay, you look nice. Joe Mangeli is a bombshell smack <laughs> dab in the middle of the Kenya content creation scene. Oh, thank you. Her style has gone through transition from laid back to a stunning winning to a stunner winning the hearts of African people. Uh, Riding mm. high with over 200,000 subscribers on YouTube, Miss Trudy yes, on, on the road to 300 subscribers. So well done. Trudy gives us a taste of her, of her fabulous world. <laughs> I'm all over the place because I'm, I'm quite excited. And it's written by Esther Musheni. So thank you, Esther, for featuring me on the standard. So um, they're asking me, describe your style in a few words. So my style, I told them I love short and tight. That's just mm -hmm. my style. I love short and tight, but comfortable also. Mm -hmm. Question two, a petite woman can get away with almost anything. Right. Um, 
what works. That is so true. I remember when I was growing up, I think it was like my number one, um, how do you say, I, I, I didn't like my body at that point because I was tall and I used to admire my friends who were short, anything they would wear, they would like look so good and stuff like that, especially before I went to high school. You know, so my primary school period was not like my best because I really, really wanted to be short. I would have preferred to be short. Then when I went to high school, I met people who were as tall as I am. And I was like, hmm, not bad after all, you know. And then, of course, you have like possibilities to become a model and stuff like that. But my goodness, when I was in primary school, it was terrible because I didn't like uh, how tall I was compared to my friends back in the day. So I understand when you're short, you have like high possibilities, but today even when you're tall, you still have equal, if not more possibilities. But my goodness, yeah, it's it's always difficult to get dressed. For you. So for me, personally, I wear clothes that fit me. Mm-hmm. And I play around with different colors, you know, that's just, right. that's just me, okay? Right. <laughs> um, I love this question. Um, you are constantly on the road creating content. How do you maintain your natural hair? Mm-hmm. Oh man, um, it's not easy. I always try to make it fresh before I leave um, so that it can last longer and look neat for as long as possible. Another question, you guys. Um, um, what inspired you to start your YouTube channel? Um, mm-hmm. I'm always driven to leave my purpose and I actually stumbled into YouTube um, when I was looking for my purpose you know it's not it wasn't like oh I'm gonna get my purpose when I'm doing YouTube. Right. it just happened you know? yeah it just happened. yeah that's the thing I mean when you get your life purpose your life starts but for you to get it you have to go look for it you have to try different things um, and then one day your heart will just settle and that's the time and point where you feel my goodness I finally found my life purpose and then you strive Uh, towards building your life purpose and doing things that set your heart on fire so fantastic um you must be glad you did not give up when did things start looking up for you well you guys remember when i when i did my xgr video well that's when Mm. like i I got like a thousand subscribers overnight for the first time i think i was like at 200 i got a thousand and yo i was super happy so I think things picked up in the XGR video. Okay. Um, being one of Kenya's most popular vloggers, there must be pressure to always look put together. Aki guys is pressure. You don't even really understand. <laughs> yeah, it's- when you're when you're in front of the public eye, I think it's it's only normal to always look nice. You just can't look natural all the time. But I feel it's good to show people both worlds. You know. Um, the person who is always uh, on top level and another one who is not. And I thought that's where Stella Chanel was like, because it's cold in Nairobi. So you have like a, 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 a tattle neck, you have a, a jacket on, a coat on. And yeah, and so people are always like, oh, you look different without makeup. But I mean, everybody, when you when you're not doing anything special or anything in particular, you don't wear makeup 24-7, you know? So, yeah, you have that pressure of always having to dress up all the time, look good all the time, but we're only human, and that's impossible when you look at it. But when you're in in the public eye, mm, yeah, I understand there is pressure. For me, um, I used to be a tomboy. I don't have a mom or a sister, so Uh I'm usually just a chill person, but because of this work, you know, you have to try and look good. So there's definitely Um, and that's why i think i admire with most some people uh who don't really care and especially men i think men have like a nice position where they they just have to to wear some nice you know clothes and they're good to go but for a woman it's different judging from your videos it is clear that you're living the soft life Hmm? soft life what do you mean is youtube all it is hyped up to be well I'm a full-time YouTuber, mm-hmm. and I'm making all my money on YouTube, but don't believe everything you see on YouTube. That's all I would say, okay? Right, yeah. Yeah, I guess when they say a soft life, it means that you have, like, a nice life, a beautiful life, no financial problems. But um, I I believe it takes time to get to that level where you don't really care about where the money is coming from. And keeping in mind that YouTube money is not forever. So, so I hope YouTubers are wise enough to invest to 
not to spend their money, um, you know, in, um, in, I mean, in just stuff and clothes and beautiful place and, and it's not yours, you're renting or stuff like that. So it's important to invest and also find for other means of making money, um, you know, like, uh, in, uh, what do you call it? Um, you know, when you're, when you're selling products for a company or, you know, and there are other different ways of making money. Uh, so I feel, I, I don't believe a bit, I don't know. I think when you say it's like you have a comfortable life, I don't think so because I feel you need to, you need to buy more equipment. You travel a lot. You, so you're working. So it's not like you're just having fun 24 seven. You're working. You, if you don't deliver, then you don't get money on YouTube. So I feel a soft life. Yes. Because people look at it like, Oh, she's always traveling. But on the other hand, it, it, it requires a lot of hard work, a lot of patience, a lot of motivation. I don't even know where you guys get all that motivation to be on the hype all the time. So, um, I feel it's, um, yeah, it's, it's relative. Mm. As a content creator, what kind of support would you like to see from the government? Oh my gosh. They should give us easy access to places. You know how you go to places and you're told, you can't film, you can't film. Mm -hmm. And we're not terrorists. We're just trying to show our beautiful country to the world. So I think the government would, would be, it will be so nice. Mm -hmm. Slow down, Trudy. Right. I think it will be so nice if the government gave us access to such places. And also if they would allow us to use our drones. Please. Yo, I still <laughs> haven't gotten a drone back. Yeah, I feel this security thing is getting out of hand. Like security everywhere the police are not playing when they see drones when you're shot when you're filming in a mall when you're filming in a restaurant when you're filming whatever it is uh it's very difficult for content creators in nairobi in kenya in general but i think most particularly in nairobi to to do their job hmm. and the last question <laughs> um so what should we expect from you now that you are officially in the big league of content creators in Kenya? Well, big things are coming up. I'm super excited. Um, you have to, you have to stay tuned into my YouTube channel to find out. Yeah, to the gang, we made it on the news thing. But. So, glam come. Basically, this is like word of the day from them. I just said, um. We all want to look good, you know, especially as content creators, but everyone wants to look good. But um, you don't have to always wear expensive clothes. Stick to what you can afford, okay? Mm -hmm. um, you can find beautiful clothes in local markets like Ikomba. Uh, what I will say to young people is think of your future more than the shoes you wear. Yeah? Right. Because sometimes you're so caught up in looking good, right. but then you have nothing in the back. You're spending I, all your money. I honestly feel this thing of uh, fake it until you make it, it's overrated. And I think now it's old school. Stop faking it. Because when you're faking it, you're spending so much money, um, you know, buying the expensive clothes, the shoes, this and that and that. And I feel that's why people in the content creation space, in the entertainment space, in the creative space, um, lay down the line, years down the line, they find themselves in a critical financial situation because they didn't think about the future and so they spent a lot on girls on 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 clothes on the the expensive apartment uh, rental apartment buying the most beautiful car just to impress people and you're not saving so i feel the young people have to change their ways of seeing so stop faking it you know just work hard you can find uh secondhand clothes or nice clothes not too expensive and you know if you want to maintain that life but on the other hand just think about the future because it's not guaranteed okay money on physical things and at the end of the day you have nothing in the right. bank so you've got a balance right. so that is something that was really tricky for me i just used to look anyhow and then the pressure of being an influencer you have to try and at least look good sometimes so yeah i just i just pay us some money mm -hmm. to look good but not too much money i don't shop at expensive places i go to local markets to a market cover they have really 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 good right. things so mm -hmm. yeah you can get good things in local markets right yeah guys that's your girl that's your girl on the news baby.
favor. Right. This was interesting. My dad was so happy. My brothers are so proud, and I was I was happy as well. I hope you're happy today. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Congratulations, Miss Trudy. That was fantastic. You deserve it. You work so hard. You give so much to people you love and don't stop doing that because uh, it's important for people to, you know, that, you know, to show people we love that we love them. Even sometimes don't get it back in return, but at least we are playing our part. It's up to them to play their part. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed this one. I really liked uh, this vlog. And I thought Miss Trudy should do more of this type of, because I think a day in my life, it's always like, you know, like always the same, same thing that I feel a week in my life. I think it's a fantastic idea. And I believe she should do more of this um, vlogs. So guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed my reaction as much as I did react to it. And yeah, make sure you tell a friend, tell a friend, tell another friend and subscribe yourself first. Okay, guys, so thank you so much. And until next time, bye.